Hi uh, everybody, it's Faith from Fire Saint Tarot. I hope everyone is well. Okay, we're throwing more down for March. Oh, good, Virgo's next. Um, so yeah. Still throwing them down for March, and it's like the 21st. Um, I survived the spring equinox. Yay! Super excited. Wait, is it? No, it's not an equinox, is it? Yeah, it was the equinox. My head's not right right now. It's really not. Spring and fall has an equinox. Summer and winter have a solstice. I know these things. Really, I'm confident. It's okay. Virgo, this one. All right, I'm going to sh just shut my pie hole and start reading cards. You can tell it's been a very long day, and my head's kind of cloudy right now, but neither here nor there. Okay. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, March 2021, if it resonates with you. Cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon, Rising, your Venus sign readings. I think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Ace of Swords came out. We'll see if it comes back out. Ten of Swords, Three of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and the Empress. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if they come back out. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play it from the perspective of a crosswatch. And our dear friends, the crosswatchers are always welcome here at the Fireside Ontario table. You're always welcome here. Everybody's always welcome here. I enjoy it when people stop by. I really do. Thanks for coming by. If you like what you see, you can hit the like button. I'm not going to twist your arm. I'm not going to make you do something you don't want to do. If you would like to subscribe and see what else I post, you hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all that happy jazz. If you want to, again, I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to just throw down cards and have a good time. I'm just living the dream, you know? Okay. Before I invoke the cards and throw them down for Virgo, quick thing. One, never make a life-altering decision based on tarot reading. I read tarot, and I think that's insane. Just don't ever do it. Two, if it is not your story, not your reading, not your message, it's not making sense to you at all, if you're not vibing with it, is that what the kids say now? If you're not vibing with it, just walk away from the table, leave the cards there. Don't take it with you if it doesn't belong to you. That's how fights get started. And then I get called a homewrecker and I get hate mail and I, I'm not into that. So, okay. Heavenly Father, Mother of the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, March 2021. Thanks for coming down to hang out with us today. Let's bring Virgo to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Virgo, why are you here? The Emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries. Don't necessarily have to be. It is the Aries card. Just happens to be the Aries card. We just started Aries season. Maybe that's all it is. It's the large and in charge card. You're the king of your castle, the lord of your manor. King, queen, lord, lordess, whatever. Never mind the sex of the cards, the energy it's putting out. You could just finally be coming into your own. Like, yeah, the Chromebook's doing that freaking thing again. It cleans randomly. I don't know why it does that. Okay. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Temperance. Card of Sagittarius just happens to be. That's a card of positive energy flow. Things are going well. You could see them as an extremely personal person. The extremely patient person. Hmm. Throw a clarifier on that in a minute. A lot of fire. A lot between the two of those, a lot of fire right now. What do you think of the person you're dealing with? Three of Cups. Maybe they're all about getting together, hanging out celebrating. If I get a second three on this table, I'm going to be a little bit concerned, but for right now, we're going to say celebration and happiness and getting together, having a good time. 
Maybe you're just really good friends with this person. What do you want from them? Nine of Pentacles. From them, of them, for them. Independence. It's a card that speaks of independence. Be it financial, emotional, physical independence, whatever. Hmm. How do they feel about you? The world in reverse. Huh. Huh. Virgo. That's a card of unfinished business. Maybe they feel like they have some unfinished business with you. What do they think of you, the devil? This is an interesting collection of major arcana I got going on this table right now. The devil, specifically, it's a card... It can mean toxic energy. It's like, you know, going down the list of meanings. That, that's the one at the top. <laughs> toxic binding energy. Obsession. Throwing out another meaning. Definitely have to throw a clarifier. This just got real. What do they want of you, for you, or from you? Oh. Four of Swords. Hmm. Huh. That's a card of laying things to rest. That is the taking a break after the heartbreak. Know what I'm saying? All right, what was the obstacle here? The star, healing. Something may have needed to heal and didn't, but it is in the upright, so. Hmm. It's kind of dreams and dreams coming true. There's, in this particular card, seven stars. Possible resolution. Ace of Pentacles. The first of ten. It's the planting of the seed. Slow and steady energy, if you will. Hmm. Huh. That's all kinds of interesting. Okay. Save that to the end. Let's get a little clarity, shall we? Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards in the table for Virgo? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, March 2021. So I got Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn... An Aquarius for Majors. I also have the World card. Huh. Look at this second. Leo, Taurus, Aries, 
Aquarius and Libra, huh? Okay. A little bit of air, a little bit of earth, a little, not a whole lot of anything else. Hmm. All right. Oh, well, hi. Seven of Wands. Control, control, control. Taking back control. And if we're taking back control or finally in control, that means at some point things are a little out of control. Might have something to do with this binding energy we got going on over here. Pentacles reversed. Yeah, things have gone stagnant. Might not be a lot of communication going on right now. Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? King of Swords. Positive energy flow, patience. Yet emotionally guarded, highly intelligent. Making non-emotional choices. I'm here in keeping the peace. Something about just keeping the peace at this point. Why is the three of cups here? Why the Three of Cups? Justice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's another card that pops up when things weren't so fair and just and even in all that stuff at some point. Trying to keep things balanced. Someone's trying to keep things balanced. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Fool. Finding one in independence, going off, doing your own thing, taking a leap of faith, finding your own path. Hmm. Finally getting in control. Probably cutting off communication with something that had gone stagnant. Hmm, okay. Why is the world reversed here for how the other person feels about Virgo? Why the world reversed? Knight of Wands reversed. Why the Knight of Wands reversed? Ten of Wands upright. Oh, well. Someone might need to get something off the chest, but can't. Oh, that's how they feel about you. Either they need to get something off the chest, or they think that you need to get something off your chest. It's a card of something being unsettled, something being unfinished. The world reversed. Something was left unfinished. Something needs to be released. 
bringing us to the devil. Why the devil? Six of Wands. A little obsessed. Probably a little self-absorbed, too. Virgo, they're a little obsessed. Or they think you're the one with the obsessive behavior, but I'm not, I'm not feeling that. Why the six of wands? Oh, come on. Karma reversed. If I could just return, if I could just return something about getting it back, if I could just get it back, if I could just get it back, if we could just get it back. Virgo, I think you're just trying to keep things cordial. Trying to wear, trying to wear their shoes on your feet, if you will. Trying to see things from their perspective. Trying to keep things fair, equal, cordial. Trying to keep the positive energy. But in all reality, you just want them to go off and do their own thing and become independent of you. They think that... They feel like something has been left unsaid. Something has been left undone. Possibly a little bit obsessive over it. Why the Four of Swords? Hi. Three of Wands. Why the Three of Wands reversed? Oh gosh, that's another three. Really? At least it's reversed. You want to talk. The Tower. Don't panic because there's a tower on the board. It's not always a bad card. I'm just saying that now. The tower just represents change. Or cataclysm. I mean, take it however it is. It does not have to be cataclysm, though. It doesn't mean have to mean that the house is crashing down around you and horrible things are happening all around you. That's not always what it means. It's not always what it means. It's just change. The sudden and abrupt kind. I have to figure out what's beeping out in my kitchen. Hold on two seconds. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Um, my son has his hoverboard out and he's riding it through the house because I don't think it's quite time enough yet or the right time for him to go riding it outside because the driveway is still a mess and I don't like the idea of him riding it in the street, but it needs to be charged. So he's going beep, 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 and he doesn't know where the charging cord is. So I'm like, well, tough luck, bro. Can you shut it off? Because my mic's picking it up. Anyway, the tower card. Just, it... I think they want cataclysm. Okay, why the tower? Nine of Swords. Oh, okay. So. Laying it to rest. They want to lay things to rest. They could be losing sleep over this. Maybe they want you to lose sleep over it. They want sudden and abrupt change. They want things to change. Okay, why is the star here? Why is the star here? Hermit reversed. Just flew out. What do you know? There's a healing that needed to take place that didn't. It's calling for... That was the obstacle. Two of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. 
one person can't be responsible for balancing everything out. No, that's not how balance works in a connection. You both got to be balanced. Because if you're both standing on either side of a scale and one person's holding both the weights and the other person's holding nothing, you don't have balance. That's physics, friends. That's just physics. Just saying. I think somebody ignored the fact that there was a problem until it was too late. And a healing needed to take place that never did. That's why somebody needs to get something off their chest. Somebody needs to fix this. But I think someone needs to acknowledge that something needs to be fixed first. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here as the possible resolution? Why the Ace of Pentacles? Thank you. Temperance again! Starting over with more of that positive energy. Oh, what fell out? I might keep it, I might not. I don't know. Eight of Swords. Why the Eight of Swords? The world reversed. Gee. There's going to be a do-over. There has to be positive energy flow. At the very least, there needs to be closure. Before anything can start over for either one of you ever again. Something has to be closed out. Because if you leave this hanging out there, goodness knows what can happen. I don't like leaving stuff hanging out there. I don't know, sometimes the universe says, no, you don't get closure, because that's part of your lesson. I always feel it best to close things out. But that's just me. Somebody, I'm, I'm having a feeling it's you, Virgo. You're just trying to keep the peace. Trying to keep cordial. <laughs> and the other person's like, but, 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 but. <clears throat> Mm, I don't know. It's the outcome. Permit reversed. There it is again. You keep ignoring this. Why is the hermit reversed here? Six of Pentacles reversed. Lack of balance. One more. They do what they want. Sorry. Ten of Pentacles reversed. You don't get your abundance. You don't get the dream. You don't get balance. Somebody has to get their head out of the sand. You ever heard the phrase, you can't, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them, dr make them drink? You may need to let go of the reins, Virgo. Concentrate on having control of your own life. Don't try to deal with their mess. Because I'm just catching a vibe that they relied very heavily on you to deal with their mess. I think they need to deal with their own mess. Get some advice. Three of Swords and the High Priestess. This is probably going to hurt. I 
But this is a soul connection, and oftentimes in soul connections, there's a lesson to be learned. And you have to listen to your intuition. Do what needs to be done, even if it's painful. King of Swords and Justice. Whatever you do, be honest and fair. <sighs> Queen of Swords reversed to the chariot. That's funny. Um, wow. Maintain a positive attitude and work on steering your own chariot. The lovers and the four of wands. Whatever choice you make, make sure it's the stable one. Virgo, thanks for stopping by. Have a happy rest of your March. I will catch you guys in a week or so, a couple of weeks for your April reading. I love you to pieces, and I'll catch you soon. <laughs>